subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand first normal form uh, 1 and f, which is also called as 1 and f. So, uh, what is this first normal form? So, before going into the normalization, the concept of normalization starts with first normal form. Before going into the normalization, we will go to the introduction to the normalization where we have discussed that uh, we have taken an example uh, which resembles, which by which uh, uh, we can understand the concept of normalization, which is uh, uh, a, a mesh in the uh, construction side so where the coarse sand will get converted into fine sand so based upon the based upon the holes of the mesh we can convert the level to which the sand can be converted will get decided so we can convert it to uh, it from one one level of coarse sand to another level of coarse sand and that sand is again converted into fine sand so this is how this is what we call it as normalization in the same way in the same way uh, the big universal table that we have discussed in that video so that big table will get into small small tables so uh, in order to convert the that universal table into small small tables there are different levels of normalization involved so they are they are first normal form second normal form third normal form BCNF which stands for Boise chord normal form next is fourth normal form and fifth normal form these are the steps involved so first the universal table will undergo with first normal form and that resultant table will undergo a second normal form and the resultant table will go will undergo a third normal form and every normal form is having its own uh, uh, basic rules to be followed based upon that we are going to we are going to decompose the tables into small small pieces so and and uh, while decomposing we have to check whether uh, there is uh, whether the decomposition is having any loss or not and whether the uh, dependencies are preserved or not so we will try to understand about this concept in our next video where we call it as lossless decomposition and uh, 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 decomposition preservation so dependency preservations in our next video anyway so uh, this is how uh, the normalization will happen and most of the cases in most of the cases practically they will undergo only up to Boise chord normal form so beyond that if any uh, any practical situations or need to be normalized then we will go to fourth normal form and fifth normal form so this is how the normalization will takes place and we are in our first phase of the normalization which is which is one and f which is first normal form so what is a first normal form so the given table a relation R is said to be in first normal form if the domain of an attribute must include if the domain of an attribute must include only only atomic values atomic values means simple or indivisible values so all the attributes of the relation must be atomic values so what is meant by atomic value means if you take this attribute this attribute should not be further divisible so if you further try to divide this it will get divided into alphabets r e a so this is not uh, this cannot be further divided so this cannot be further divided so if you uh, further divide this there is no meaning in it so uh, every attribute should be the values in the attribute should be atomic so these attributes are this attribute is atomic this attribute is atomic this attribute is atomic but if you consider department locations is department locations atomic no it can be further divided so it can be divided into this 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 so there are three different locations for department it is Bellary uh, Sugarland and Hose so for this it may not be divided it cannot be divided but every value in the attribute should be atomic even if one of the value is multi-valued so these attributes are called as multi-valued the discussion about different types of attributes was already made in our early course uh, early videos of our course so there we have discussed the different types of attributes in that we have come across with multi-valued attributes so uh, in the first normal form the 
the multi valued attributes are not allowed so how to solve this problem can you can you think of it how to solve this problem how these multi valued attributes can be solved so one of the solution is for example if you take a, a department name so how to solve this is uh, research five uh, manager assassin so i'm not going to write everything so uh, it is not required anyway we will write double four double five double five double five and one of the problem is uh, create a row create a row for every department location so we will try to write that create a row for every every multi valued attribute values uh, in the multi valued attributes double sugar land similarly another five this and next one is Houston similarly for this uh, there are no multi valued attributes for this uh, for this uh, uh, department uh, so just uh, one uh, row is sufficient for this four uh, some values and it is uh, Stafford so this is how this is one of the solutions but is it is this solution efficient in what way we can measure that this is not this is not an efficient way how can we say that this is not an efficient way how can we say that this is not an efficient way because the ultimate objective of the normalization is to reduce redundancy but with the with this solution we are increasing the redundancy how we are increasing the redundancy means see here the values are research 5 and the manager SSN is repeating again and again Again. so this is what we call it as redundancy so this the objective of the normalization one of the objective of normalization is to reduce the redundancy but with the uh, with this idea we are increasing the redundancy so are there any ways any other ways which uh, which we can do which we we can find the solution for this there is one other way let's try to do it in that way and check whether that solution is uh, research Department number five, manager SSN, and you can think of department number one. So the column name is department number one, department uh, department number two, and department number three. For this, uh, and for the next so if this is the solution if this will if this is the solution can this be the efficient solution so for example if you want to increase the location of a department what should we do so we have to create another uh, uh, another column for the department number four and uh, that has to be filled up with so if you, uh, the other problem is the null values are very very high so why the null values are very high because uh, sorry it is sugar uh, stafford stafford but what about these values so do you do that uh, do this department is having more values uh, uh, all the three values no it is not having it is having only one location so in that case we are going to increase the number of null values so the null values are to be avoided one of the objective of the uh, uh, normalization is to avoid the null values and similarly if you take headquarters the for this also there will be two null values so this is also not the right solution so how to how to solve this problem how to solve this problem is uh, decompose the table so in what way we have to decompose the table is all the multi-valued attributes are to be decomposed into a separate table along with the primary key of the table so the multi-valued attributes are to be decomposed into a separate table along with the primary key of the table so how the decomposition is done 
how the decomposition has to be done is we have to decompose the table so uh, we are going to take out this attribute into a separate table and this has to be added with uh, d number okay so this the combination of both these two is going to be the primary key for this table so we are going to separate the delocations into a separate table so uh, after 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 uh, going through the first normal form after going through the first normal form we don't have this uh, attribute in this table so how this will get divided is uh, how this will get divided is number five department number five Valerie, department number five, Sugarland, and department number five, Houston. So this is the solution which gives the better output. So in the sense, uh, it is uh, Stafford. Similarly, department number one, Houston. So with this. With this, we are uh, avoiding the uh, avoiding the multi-valued attributes, and we are uh, we are not having redundancy among the tables, and we are not having the null values problem also. So the ultimate solution is to separate the multi-valued attribute into a separate table. You decompose the multi-valued attributes into a separate table along with the along with the primary key of this table, and uh, uh, the combination of d number and d location is going to be the primary key for this table because uh, none of these values are repeating if both of them are the primary keys so uh, uh, department number five is at location Bellary and sugarland and so if you take the combination of these two attributes they are not going to be repeated so this is what we call this is the objective of the first normal form whenever a table undergoes uh, the normalization process in the first normal form all the multi-valued attributes will get departed the attributes with multi-valued uh, values uh, will get separated will get decomposed into a separate table along with the primary key of the table so hope you got the clarity on this concept if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching